Hi, this is Jack Humphrey with FridayTrafficReport.com and BlogSuccess.com. And I'm on my blog because I've had some readers asking about this little green box underneath all of my posts. Right now, under all of my posts, I have what's called a ClickBank Hop Ad Builder or a, a Hop Ad Widget created with the Hop Ad Builder. And if you're a ClickBank affiliate, you can go to clickbank.com, log in, and just click on their hop ad or hop link builder tools, and you'll find out how to grab a widget that's customized with ClickBank products that you pull up by keyword. And that's how I made this thing. That's not important. Uh, you can put anything here in the bottom of your post. The problem is I'm not a real super techie. A lot of people assume that I am, but I'm not. I've never programmed anything in my life and I'd rather stay away from code as much as possible which is true for most people which is why I'm making this video uh, we want to do things as easy as possible I want to show you how I get this or you could put any other kind of JavaScript or any other kind of widget to show up in the bottom of your posts and they'll show up on all of your posts alright so let's go on the back end here right now I'm at plugins and I'm at add new and that's what this page is. So I just want to show you how to get this plugin. It's called What Would Seth Godin Do? And uh, it's, it's commonly referred to by WWSGD. And you can click on Search Plugins. If you have the latest version of WordPress, this is how you do it. It's so cool compared to what it used to be, where you had to upload, download, and upload, and unzip, and all that stuff. You can find every plugin that's registered with WordPress this way, right inside your blog. So here we are. What Would Seth Godin Do? Uh, just click on install and it'll go to another page it'll say it's done everything if everything's done correctly and um, then you would just activate plug-in and you're done okay so let's say you've got that done now you want to go to settings since you have activated what would Seth Godin do WWSGD should be in your settings list right here and you just click on that to get to the settings and what this was actually intended to do when it was created was to show visitors, new visitors, a different message than a message that you would show repeat visitors. And it would cookie them so that you could set it the first five times, the first three times, two times, whatever it is, that those people would be able to see a different message based on that. So up here it would typically say what it was designed for was if you like this site, please subscribe to my RSS feed or anything you wanted it to say. And then after they had visited the prerequisite number of times, uh, say that's three then from that point on as long as their cookie was activated still active they would see a whole new message and this could be positioned at the top of your post or after your post or only where you use this code or on posts and pages or just posts only and that's all this does that's all it does so I discovered one time that I could actually put script in here JavaScript like when you pull a widget off someplace that you want to use uh, of any kind, any kind of JavaScript at least. I don't know what else might work in here. I know HTML works in here as well. So you can put any kind of HTML code in here. You could put your subscription form in here. You could put a, a picture of uh, affiliate products. You could put affiliate links in here. What I've decided to do is kind of like that. Remember that I've got this little green box here. These are all affiliate links. This is all ClickBank products. So that's what I wanted to have there, and I'm using what would Seth Godin do to do it. And I just, instead of having this whole feature of what they see the first three times they come and what they see after the th third time or on the fourth time that they come, I just put the script in both boxes, rendering this moot. You don't even have to have a number in here. You could have zero, and they're still going to always see the same thing. So that's how I did the box. I used what would Seth Godin do. It's a plugin that's free and available through your own blog. Just go to plugins, add new, type in WWSGD, and download that plugin. Then anything that you want to put, any codes that you pull off of any other site, any kind of widget, anything that runs on JavaScript, I could put my Google Friend Connect here if I wanted to. You could also put your opt-in form. If you're giving away something for free and you have an opt-in list and you're doing an autoresponder follow-up and building a list, which you should be doing, uh, you could put this at the bottom of every one of your posts. So whatever you want to do, but that's how you do it without having to be a geek. If you want to learn more about blogging uh, and getting popular on the web, getting great search engine rankings, things like that, just come to FridayTrafficReport.com and take a read. It's all free.